Hey all, welcome to this week's acquisition report here at the CIO PCC. We have a number of goodies, uh, most of them small, but a couple big ones. So I got five areas to look at. One of them, or actually two of them have more than one thing in them. And one of them I mentioned earlier this week when I was talking about Pixar figures, I came across these cool elemental figures. I think this is part of that Disney Storytellers line. Um, and they're doing some other ones for Monsters, Inc. and Up. That uh, also looked very interesting, but I had to have the elemental ones. Come on, let's face it. We are, haven't gotten many elemental figures or toys of any kind for the movie. And the movie's doing quite well now. It's turned into a surprise hit after everybody doomed it after the first weekend. Next up, we're going to look at something that's uh, old school. Yes, very old school. We're going to have something here. I collect some of the Dakin uh 1960s 70s vinyl figures i had some as a kid and so i keep picking a few of them up and they're down here on the bottom shelf with some of the, the warner brothers stuff and the one i picked up this week for a song is bugs bunny he's a great little figure these are vinyl figures like i said from the well late 60s early 70s um and uh bugs was one i just didn't have wiley coyote is another one i'm gonna eventually find there's a foghorn leghorn, too, that's hard to come by that I need to pick up. But I pick them up here and there as I come across them. So that's uh, two of the areas. Number three has two items I picked up as well. I just cannot say enough with the cars. Man, what am I doing? And I picked up two lightnings here in the last recent times. One is the deputy. I just thought the deputy lightning looked really good. And this one over here, this is caveman uh, lightning with that uh, interesting forehead. So, yeah, there's two more lightnings. I don't have any room for any more lightnings. I got to stop seeing cool variations. Mesco continues to hit me up at least once a week with something. The shipment on this stuff is pretty amazing, and it's another Wolverine this week. This is a San Diego Comic Con, like the Green Power Ranger. We end the last acquisition report. And hopefully the upcoming Gomez we're going to see. So yeah, this is a great costume. I mean, we've gotten the Tiger Stripe one over here recently. And we have plenty of other variations this year, as you can see, all together of the Wolverines. But this one, a nice classic look for him. And like I said, this was a con release this summer. So let's see, that's four. That leaves us just one more. And it really is my favorite thing I got this week. I reviewed it. So, you know, it should be no surprise to anyone who pays attention to my reviews. And that's Doc Brown, who is here with Marty. Now that we have all three of the uh, Martys and Docs, I am a very happy camper. You can see we got two of the first movie Martys over here with Doc. Over there on the other side is where the Back to the Future 2 Marty and Doc are around the DeLorean here. But yeah. I'm really happy with this Doc Brown. It was nice to get a nice new head sculpt with him. Very pleased with the gun. The outfits look good together. You can swap them up and put them in the uh, more formal outfits. They both come with that as well. So if you don't want to go with a more cowboy look. So that's it for me this week. It was a pretty straightforward week. Five goodies. If uh, you picked up anything this week, let me know. And I hope your collecting is going well. Until Monday when I do another Top 10, have a great weekend.